Hey guys, it's Frank and Kevin from Cruising with Wheels, and today we're going to talk about fun in the sun. How to protect yourselves. Well, we're already down there because while you're watching this, we're in the Caribbean. That's right. Today, we're in Roatan. We're going to talk today about sun protection. Because safety in the sun. That's right, safety in the sun. Especially and who coined that? Safety in the sun. Oh, I'm not sure. Who Darlene. Oh, our sun. If you remember and you watched uh, Sun Goddess, sun Darlene. Sun Goddess episode of um, NCL Jade Vlogs. I'll link the Jade Vlog playlist above so that you can relive our 11-day cruise to the Southern Caribbean, yes. if you so choose. Dave and Darlene love to hang out on the beach. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we like the beach too. Right. But we don't live out there anymore. But if you do, <laughs> you're going to want to watch this video. And you're going to want to be protected. That's right. And frankly, I don't know what took us almost a year <laughs> to decide to produce uh, a Safety in the Sun episode. But now, everybody hears the term SPF. And what does it mean? Oh, you got to have SPF 30. Oh, no, I have to have SPF 40. Oh, no, I always have more than that. Well, what is SPF? Well, SPF stands for Sun Protection Factor. All right. SPF. Finally. So, so now that we know that, uh, what does SPF mean? It's the protection factor of that number is how much it's protecting you That's right. from the damaging UV rays. Yeah. So people don't realize that there are actually two types of rays that come from the sun. Uh, and the first would be UVA rays. And those are the long wave ultraviolet. And then there's UVB rays, which are short wave rays. Now, the, the UVA, oh, like radio. I don't know, but the UVA is the worst. It's, it, it's, it penetrates deep into the Into the dermis, dermis which is the thickest portion yeah. of the skin. Um, and commonly, back in the day, they would say that the UVA is what causes skin cancer. However, mm -hmm. however... Now we know. Now we know that UVB also contributes to skin cancer as well. And that's uh, UVB is short waves and that just... Um, that's how you damages, get burnt. Right, that damages the, the top layer. It damages the few top layers. Now your skin's made up of... So many layers. Dozens of layers. Right, right, right. Um, but boy, we have certainly ourselves been the victims of severe sunburn. Mm -hmm. uh, not to bring up a sore subject, but on my first honeymoon uh, years ago, uh, my ex-wife and I are honeymooned in the Bahamas, and we both got sun poisoning. Oh, that's a little different than sunburn. Yeah, but too. because of uh, we didn't use proper protection in terms of the sun in the Caribbean. Bad! Now the most uh, typical number would be SPF 30. And SPF 30 uh, usually covers all people and all skin types. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, no sunscreen can block all the UV rays. Yeah. Uh, but they do know that SPF 15 blocks 93% of UVB rays, uh, which is hot, stops you from burning, right? Because that's just oh, the God. top few layers. Yes. Nobody wants that. But what I found interesting is that SPF 30 mm -hmm. only blocks 97%. So it's not that, that far, far off. off. And then when you, the, when you get up even higher, the um, 
the uh, SPF 50 blocks 98%. A little bit more. A little bit more. So the difference between 30 and 50 is only 1%. Yeah. So you might be going overkill. I don't know. Oh, but um, I'll tell you, better be safe than sorry. You remember what happened to us when we were in, uh, on the island of Bonaire. Yes, I do. I got severely burned. You were burned. We were doing 30 yes. SPF. And we, because we were in uh, doing a, a golf cart tour of Bonaire, the island of Bonaire in the Southern Caribbean, and uh, the sun really beat mm -hmm. on your left leg because that was the one that was exposed on the driver's side. Right. And I got burned on my right side because I was on the passenger side. And we had both used sunscreen. Yes, we did. Uh, there has been in our research a little confusion between sunscreen and sunblock, mm -hmm. but uh, in our research, what we found is that most, um, most products these days are a combination of both things, uh, a sunscreen and a sunblock. Now, it used to be sunscreens, right? Mm -hmm. uh, oh, right. Oh, God. Sun... And I used to sell them in my drugstores. So the, so the sunscreens uh, were a chemical. Mm -hmm. They worked on a chemical process of blocking out the UVA rays. And the sun blocks uh, were the thick, yeah. creamy, the, you know, like the white nose people right. you see. Like, okay, like the, in the movies, you see people at the beach, the surfers, and they've got that white pasty stuff on their nose. And That's it was is. blocking the sun, not by a chemical, but by covering the skin. Right. So, uh, it, it, <laughs> like a uh, little mini umbrella yeah. for your nose. <laughs> so, um, that brought that what you were saying was bringing up the point of the new products and what we got on um, Bonaire. Well, what or, happened was, was it Bonaire? No, it, was it wasn't. Bonaire. Uh, it was after a, we got burned on Bonaire, our next stop was Curacao. Uh, no, yes, we went to Aruba on the next stop, but it was Curacao that you went into the store and bought. Uh, I got 70 yes, because they, SPF. Because they, they said to you, didn't they say to you, you know, down in the southern Caribbean where it's closest to the equator, the sun is very different down in the lower southern Caribbean than it is in the upper Caribbean. Uh, and so he went in. He was like, oh, my God, I'm so burnt. I can't have this happen again. And you got this ocean. Ah, how cute. It says it's the scent of sunshine. Yeah, ocean potion. And how much did you pay for that? Read it. Well, this is this is not U.S. US dollars. dollars. This is um, it was twenty one ninety five uh, uh, Dutch, whatever. Right, right. right. Uh, crowns that they use. Oh, I don't. Crowners. You're getting closer, I think. I don't know. It was a weird. Yeah, I can't remember it, the it currency. It was a weird now. currency. Yeah. I just put it on the chart. We did. we like. But must. even still, I think it was like eighteen bucks. Spare no expense. <laughs> but the key to this is that everything that they sell in the Southern Caribbean is broad spectrum. Mm -hmm. And um, we feel that it's very important to always find a product that's broad spectrum, regardless of the SPF. And why? I, I'm, gonna, I'm asking that right now. Okay. What is that? So sunblocks are formulated to shield against UVB rays, mm -hmm. while sunscreens protect against UVA rays. In order to fully protect your skin, you need to choose a broad spectrum protection because it's formulated with sunscreen mm -hmm. that will protect you against both, both UVA and UVB rays. So now when you go to the store and you're looking for sunscreen, you want to see broad, broad spectrum. spectrum. You're going to be looking at all the bottles. And I know, we used to carry them in the stores. You had the Copper Tones and the Hawaiian Tropics and all these different manufacturers of sun, or what used to be in the old sun lotions became sunscreens. Um, so. Well, and, and sun, sun tan lotions. So if you're looking for a tanning lotion, you're not getting protected. It's not protecting you against it's, pretty much yeah. anything. It's I mean, a false it's, sense of security. Right, right. Because, it's because people want to get tanned up. And those would be uh, SPF 4, 8, 10, 
I mean, you really need to be in the in the 15 plus range so, to be really be to protected. be in a level of protection. Yeah, yeah. So. And what happens um, if we get sunburned? Because oh. we, we carry a product with us when we travel. We carry a product uh, with us. If we do get a burn, which you used, and, and I, we have a picture. We have a yeah. picture of your sunburned legs. We'll insert that because <laughs> that it's really. Burnt. <laughs> oh, I was burnt to a crisp. I was as red as this bottle. And this is called Sunburnt. S-U-N-B-U-R-N-T. And it has, um, what has it got in it? It's got alloy. Well, it has usually, a lot of them have aloe, which... Or aloe? Why did I say alloy? I don't know. <laughs> aloe. That, you know, aloe, a lot of them, which soothes... Very soothing to the skin. It's homeopathic and it's lidocaine free. Mm -hmm. A lot of the products yeah. will have lidocaine in it mm -hmm. so that uh, it numbs your skin. Right. And I don't think that's very good in my opinion. You don't know whether you're having a problem or not. You don't know whether you're having a problem. You don't know whether you need to reapply. Because you're not feeling anything. And uh, also, you don't know if you're getting even more burnt. Right, and this is a nice gel. And it so, actually cools your skin down. So yeah. when you yeah. when you put it on, your, oh. it, it actually... It, they have to get some more. Yeah, it'll, it hurts a little. Well, that last well, time, it hurt last well, time. Well, because you were really burnt. Um, but yeah, it's really... This is, I would highly, highly recommend yeah, this product. That, that, that hasn't failed us no. in our trips. It says it's good for adults and children two years or older. It cools overheated skin, soothes and rehydrates sunburned right. skin, helps to reduce skin peeling, which, oh my oh God, gosh. I did not peel. Yeah, and I'm surprised because normally we peel like a snake shedding its skin. Mm -hmm. But uh, you get that cool feel. And you know it helps the spread of infection. That's good too. So if you're infected. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. So that's really, really, yeah. really good. It was good. a good product. I'm glad we, uh, we bought that. And again, we take, that with us. we take that with us on every Caribbean cruise we go on. And it really is good. Uh, you, you haven't said anything about my new shirt. I speaking do. of the Caribbean. I love your new shirt. Well, I you bought should. You it. bought it for me. Yeah. <laughs> we thought we would get Frank a print for a change so that maybe I can wear a stripe <laughs> so we don't look like a and test now man. I've got my, uh, my Caribbean beach shirt that I'm going to be wearing. So isn't this... So if you go out and you get burnt on the beach, okay... And you, you don't have your sunburn. I just want to say to everybody, do not use creams okay. to put on your skin like a, like a, regular, like a face cream. Like a regular Jergens lotion right. kind of thing. That is one of the worst cream. things you can do because uh, it doesn't allow your dermis to breathe. It doesn't allow your pores right. to breathe. Well, that's funny you say that because I do experience that if I use... Let's say the Jergens lotion we have in the in the bathroom, and I put it on. I do notice that I start to get hot and sweaty. Well, and, and is that because my pores are clogged yes. and, it'll, and I'm not it'll breathing? It'll trap the heat right. of the sunburn in, and it'll make your sunburn even See, worse. See, I knew that was so because I'm trying to lotion myself so I'm not dry, but then all of a sudden I get overheated and I find myself getting moist and sweaty, and that's why because my, I've, I've clogged my pores with lotion. Another thing that's really important that if you have a sunburn, you need to hydrate yourself. Mm, right, right. Lots of water. Stay away from the liquor oh, for a little oh gosh. while. Yes, liquor is the worst thing if you're trying to hydrate yourself. So don't go running to the bar <laughs> getting another highball. Yeah. Okay, or whiskey sour or Cosmo. <laughs> oh, I'm going to hydrate myself some more. <laughs> it's like, no. Water, water is the best. Um, also, I want everybody to know that's been sending me messages and asking me questions about their hair and oh. protecting it <laughs> for the sun, that I will be doing a follow-up video to, or a second part to the safety in the sun, and it'll be all about your hair. Right. I just, uh, we have to wait till we get back. And, uh, yeah, because remember, right now, again, as you're watching us, we're really not here. We're not here. That's right. It is, uh, it is Tuesday, the 27th, 
and this video is posted, and we're in Roatan, Honduras. Now, with Dave and Darlene. Now, and I'm probably wearing <laughs> this awesome tropical beach shirt. Oh, now you'll have to write that down. <laughs> but um, uh, we did a video about uh, traveling with kids, mm -hmm. right, recently. Yep. Um, I can't remember when that video came out. Uh, it was all about um, a parent's you know, guide. A parent's guide and to this is, this is cruising with kids. Right, and this is perfect for a parent's guide because you really have to take care of the little ones, uh, especially, again, if you have those water babies and you're spending time on the beach and the sand mm -hmm. and the water. And people think, this is, this is what, um, people think because you're in the water, that you're protected, but you're not. Right. You're like, oh, I'm in the water. It feels so cool. It makes it worse. Uh, the, those rays are going straight through the water and, to your skin. And the rays that are hitting the water are reflecting back at you and intensifying yeah, it. Yeah. And so you, you don't really don't realize it um, while you're in the water. But when you get out, you really realize, oh, wow. Do I look as red as I think I look? Yeah, you do. You look like a lobster. But I was in the water and it was so nice and cool. Well, guess what? <laughs> so little bodies have yes. more uh, delicate they do. skin. And, um, They're we, still growing. They have to toughen up. And we have a few suggestions for mom and dads. Mm -hmm. uh, they um, can dress the kids in uh, clothing with an SPF factor. That's, those have come out right. in the last 10 years, oh, 5, 10 absolutely. years. Um, choosing long sleeves whenever possible. I know that sounds a little I'm odd, right. but right. Uh, you can get lightweight long sleeve right. uh, clothes. And we bring some. Absolutely, and also uh, from, a, from a clothing retail background, you want um, uh, fabric breathable. that is breathable, natural, cotton. Stay away from uh, heavy 100% polyesters and rayons. They, uh, they will contain the heat. Uh, look for light colored clothing because light colored clothing reflects light. Dark clothing absorbs the light and the heat. Uh, so cottons, light colored, natural. You're going to want to, in this Again, sounds weird because this is when you're normally in port, but you want to avoid <laughs> the sun during peak burn oh, hours. Yeah, yeah. So peak burn hours are from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Right, right. You know, that's when you're in port, though. So I know. since it's you're going to be in port, just remember oh. that the water and the snow, if you're oh, skiing, that's true. let's say. Sun is sun, no matter where you are. They, they reflect the rays, and it increases the risk of burning um, while you're on the water or while you're right. skiing and that you should reapply the mm -hmm. sunscreen more often uh, during the recommended times of 10 to 2 right. if you're going to be out. So that should be in your little travel bag mm -hmm. uh, carried with you when you're in port. And generally uh, children and teens will need it reapplied more often than adults mm -hmm. because they're um, delicate. They're, they have de more delicate skin, but also kids are running around and yes. doing a lot of things. So and how about in and out of the water? In and out of the water, you need to reapply. You need to you need to follow the instructions on your bottle. So this bottle that we have, it's a reapply every 80 minutes. It's water resistant up to 80 minutes. Uh, that's a lot of time. Yeah. And frankly, uh, I feel like if you're in the Southern Caribbean, adults and children should be reapplying every yeah, half hour. Yeah. The sun is really, really more intense down south. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, you can also have your child wear a hat. We do. We go in. We, and we wear have hats a, with We a wear brim. our caps. We apply our sunscreen. Um, especially uh, you're, you're wearing shorts and t-shirts. I know that um, sitting in my wheelchair and we're out and about that sun beats down. I'm wearing shorts. It beats down on my knees and my, you know, my lower legs. And, For me, it's my neck. Right. And when I feel it getting warm, um, I, we bring a little hand towel in our little, in our little travel bag and I'll put it across <clears throat> my knees. Because that sun is so hot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it hurts. 
and especially once you get a little burned, just a little sun on you makes it even worse. Uh, remember to protect your child's lips and your yeah. lips uh, with a lip balm. Yeah, and uh, you just want to look. They have them. They're usually an SPF 15 mm -hmm. or higher. Uh, and don't forget your eyes. So oh, get right. little Johnny or little Susie some sunglasses right. with an SPF rating on the lenses. That doesn't mean run to the dollar store and get the cheap <laughs> little dollar store things. You've got to look for an SPF protection right. on your lens. So you're talking eyes, you're talking skin, you're talking your lips. Oh my God, you, you'll be a big old mess if you don't do all that. So we talked about how to protect yourself from the sun, and everybody's probably feeling that, oh my God, the sun is a horrible thing, <laughs> but it actually has benefits as well it does it does it has a lot of uh, a lot of benefits especially positive benefits. positive benefits in terms of vitamins mm -hmm. vitamin and D. I can speak to that so tell us what uh, what the well we live in a climate we live in an area that doesn't right. uh, the Sun is not as close to the to the land or the right. globe because we're up north as po as you can be and we don't get a lot of sun. Today is an unusual yes, day. It's, it's sunny very out. sunny out. It's a little chilly, but uh, it's it's uh, sun is out and there's blue skies. Um, so Frank actually suffers from a, a vitamin D deficiency, right. and that you you get vitamin D from the sun. Right. You also get it from a healthy diet tr um, traditionally. Right. He has a healthy diet. I do. I have and, a I have a healthy diet. I eat lots of fruits and vegetables and, and it's chicken and tuna and very little, no pork, no red meat, whatever. But because I am mostly housebound and I don't actually go outside, I'm not out, um, I take vitamin D uh, supplements. supplements every morning with um, my morning medications. But uh, vitamin D deficiencies uh, are linked with um, poor bone growth in children. Mm. Uh, they also are linked to depression and, oddly enough, multiple sclerosis. Really? Yeah. Ooh, I didn't know um, that. But uh, being out in the sun yes. 10 to 15 minutes a well, day yeah, and I will, have, will I, help you with your I vitamin D. I have always actually suffered from uh, a sad seasonal affective disorder. Uh, I mean, there was a time when the seasons, and I felt it, I mean, I'm talking the day after Labor Day, I, I felt it. I could feel the change in my mood and that I literally, there was one time I didn't go out or see any of my friends for almost a year. I got up, I went to work, I came home. That's sad. I, it is, was sad, but it's true. You, you have that, that, uh, that funk, that, that, that horrible, sad feeling that depression that and because of the change of the weather and that one year it was really bad and my friends were calling and are you okay and I was like I didn't want to talk to anybody I didn't want to see anybody I just wanted to be in my apartment by myself leave me alone and it's really hard and I know a lot of people suffer from seasonal affective disorder that change of seasons well they might they might want to ask their doctors to do a vitamin D right. test um, to check the levels because it's it's very easy to check with a blood test. Right. Um, but that's why I love vacations. Yeah. That are that are warm climate for me. I mean, it was nice. We went to Alaska. It was great. But my vacation, my cruise, is to be down in the uh, on the islands with the sun and the warmth yeah, and the even heat. if we're stuck on the boat it doesn't Still, matter if you're stuck on the boat i can go outside and sit there and i need the sun and the heat uh that makes me feel so much better so um we told you that we're all in roatan right now I know, and you know we're having a great time and uh you can be part of that experience by following us on facebook instagram Twitter and Snapchat. Mm -hmm. We do post um, exclusive content while we are sailing on all of those social media venues. Right. So make sure you're subscribed to all those social media. Or following us or yes. friending us. Yes. And remember to subscribe to us here if you haven't already done so. That's right. And 
there's a little bell and that will get you notifications for when our latest videos are out. But until next time, from myself, Kevin, and my husband, Frank, and Cruising with Wheels, we want to remind you to always travel safe and cruise often.